John McGilligot, uh, Director of McGilligot's and Group Manager of, of McGilligot's uh, Queensland and New South Wales. Well, uh, probably the most famous one's uh, the West Coast Bridge. Well, we've did all the uh, uh, the fatigue works in, uh, inside the West Coast Bridge, which is, the West Coast Bridge has got a, a steel section of about 850 metres in length uh, by about 50 metres uh, wide. It's all box girder and inside there the box girders are roughly three or four metres in, in height. Um, it had uh, it was covered in red lead from the from the days of uh, construction. Um, a very good coating of red lead, the highest content uh, red lead coating uh, in Australia. We had to go in and remove the uh, the lead based paint uh, where in areas where they needed to uh, carry out uh, uh, cracking fatigue works, uh, and that went on for uh, a period of about eighteen months. We also did all the prep work on the uh, concrete underside of the bridge for the uh, um, carbon fibre works, which strengthen the concrete um, as well as the steel. Yeah. The Westgate Bridge is the uh, the key arterial road from uh, from from west to to uh, east, I guess, uh, in the city. Uh, there's probably roughly around you know a couple hundred thousand cars go it every day. Um, it's a five lane. Uh, ten lane bridge, five each side, um, and it carries all all things from people to the transporting of goods. Uh, it's a significant piece of infrastructure, and uh, the state would probably be uh, gridlocked if we didn't have it. So it's a very significant uh, piece of infrastructure, and uh, it's it's it is in fact Vic Roads' number one piece of infrastructure.